I'm Tracy Sinclair, and this is your Fast Cast for February 7th, 2024. Our top story for today, day three of the Brian Smith murder trial continued with witnesses, including Valerie Kassler. According to court documents, it was Kassler who gave police the pictures and videos allegedly showing Brian Smith brutally beating and killing a woman and then manipulating the body. This was on an SD card labeled Homicide at Midtown Marriott. Smith is on trial for both the death of Kathleen O'Henry and Veronica Abouchuk. He, plays, he faces 14 counts, including first and second degree murder, assault and tampering with evidence. How Kassler came in contact with pictures and video is a key part of the case. Kassler initially told police she found a memory card containing the gruesome images on a street in Anchorage. She later changed her story and Wednesday testified she stole Smith's phone from his truck and that she then transferred the pictures to an SD card that she labeled homicide at Midtown Marriott. Kassler said she had initially lied about it because she did not want to be arrested for theft or attempted prostitution. Thursday morning, the defense will begin cross-examining Kessler. Also Wednesday, an Alaska state trooper and medical examiner told the jury about the skull of a Bauchuk found by mushroom hunters on the Old Glen Highway south of Palmer. In other news, Alaska State Troopers say they found a second body in a truck involved in a crash south of Cantwell on the Parks Highway. The crash happened late last month around mile 183. At first, troopers reported the pickup crossed the center line and hit a semi, starting a fire. The pickup driver was declared dead at the scene. They now say the remains of two adults were in the pickup, 26-year-old Destiny Wood and 22-year-old Marcus Taylor, both of Fairbanks. The driver of the semi-truck was medevaced from the wreck but was expected to survive. Assault, robbery and theft rose in Anchorage last year, but burglaries and homicides were down by double digits. That was the report from the Anchorage Police Department today at the Anchorage Assembly's Public Safety Committee hearing. Anchorage Police Chief Michael Curl says compared to 2022, homicides were down 18% in Anchorage. He also said the increase in theft, up 16%, was related to the large encampments all over the city. And you can get the day's news, sports, and of course your weather all day long on alaskasnewsource.com, on our free streaming channel, on those platforms you see right there, and of course at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on Alaska's News Source.